So I just wanted to run through uh, quickly what it takes to complete the installation of a tri-fuel kit on a Predator 8750 or Honda 420cc engine uh, generator. Um, there's only a couple steps involved, so I just wanted to kind of, I'm not going to take it all apart and show everything, but just wanted to point out what needs to be done. Um, if we go over to this side where I already have this installed, um, I did have to uh, drill two holes here and here for the mounting bolts that holds the regulator in place. That's this big silver thing. Um, everything else, this is all just one unit held on by two bolts here, so that's very straightforward. Uh, then there's a hose going from here. It's kind of, sorry, it's night right now, so it's kind of hard to see, but there's a hose going from here into right back here, which is behind the um, air intake, air filter assembly. And if you look, if you can see a little arrow, black arrow on a white piece of paper back there, uh, that's, that's actually the adapter piece that needs to go in place between, uh, let me zoom in a bit, so the, this right here is the new piece that needs to go in place between this is the air filter assembly and this is the carburetor. So there's a gasket, an extra gasket that comes in the package that goes right here. The existing gasket that's uh, out of the box on the generator between the carburetor and the air filter stays in place over here. And so you're just adding this little piece that's about a one centimeter piece of plastic um, that has uh, the hose attachment for the gas line, which is, this is the new gas line, it goes up into the bottom of that plastic piece, and that pushes the, the fuel, whether it be propane or natural gas, into the carburetor that then goes into the engine. So in order to run this, uh, when you're running it in one of the two new types of fuels, whether it be propane or natural gas, um, what you want to do over here is there's a pet cock here for the gas gasoline. This is the gas tank at the top here. Um, so you just turn the pet cock off as if you're like not using it. Um, that stops the gas flow from here down into the bowl of the carburetor. And then the natural gas or propane comes in through here goes out here, you can regulate the flow here, the amount of uh, gas going through the regulator with this like thumb screw over here. Uh, the gas comes in here and then it goes in with the air intake or the air that's coming in through the air intake straight through the um, carburetor and into the engine. So it just kind of uh, the carburetor bowl at the bottom here that normally would be filled with gasoline stays empty. Uh, so it doesn't need to vaporize off because this is already uh, vapor gas that's going in. Um, so really there were, I had to drill two holes up here, uh, and then there are nuts that go in the back. Those come in the kit, the regulator comes in the kit, the hose comes in the kit, um, and then the little plastic adapter piece over here comes in the kit. And I just had to take off the five or six mounting bolts for the air filter, um, take that off, put it aside, Take off the back piece, and actually I can take this part, this part off right now. So that cover comes off, the two pieces of foam come off, and uh, you probably don't have to worry about which order they're in because it's kind of obvious that this softer one was in the front because there's this grid plastic piece in the back. You can see that indentation on it. But anyway, keep track of if you can't note if you can't tell on yours, keep track of which order they're in. Um, and then there are one, two, three, four, five, six. I think those were M. I don't remember what the dimension of, like what wrench you need to take those off or what socket. Uh, that piece comes off. And then there were two more bolts here that are holding the carburetor or holding this onto the stud. Uh, those come off. And then one more mounting bolt in the back that needs to come off. Uh, then this whole air intake piece comes off and you can see just the carb is like right here you slide on your new piece put on the new gasket and then put this all back together um, and that's pretty much it then you're ready to go um, to start it uh, when you're ready you want to open this up uh, in the box it's usually pretty far closed just back this off pretty well um, 
more or less wide open. And then in the back, you can't see, you You can see where my hand's reaching, but you can't really see what my fingers are doing. But there's a little spring-loaded piece. You can probably hear that as I push it. You kind of want to pump that as the string's being pulled, or if you have an electric start, uh, so this generator has an electric start option where you add a nine, I think it was a nine volt battery. Um, and there are just connectors on the other side over here. It's all labeled anyway. Uh, 12 volt, nine amp hour battery, sealed lead acid. Um, so that's like the kind of battery you find in a battery backup for a computer, for example. Um, you can find those in any kind of battery store or whatnot. Uh, Amazon has them. Um, if you have that in place, then all you have to do is, when you go to start it, if you hold the up button on the on-off switch, it clicks and it's like a, um, as I let go, it turns, it, it unclicks, but it stays in the on position. Uh, holding it up, here it says start. Um, as you hold it up, it'll turn over. While it's turning over, you just pump this on the back and it'll fire right up. As you pump it, you'll hear burr, 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 and it'll just go faster and faster. And then as it's running and warming up, you can adjust this thumb screw to um, how rich you want it and what, what kind of sounds right for uh, what load you need. But if you're, you know, as you increase load, you might need to open that up more to let some more gas through, for example. So uh, that's pretty much all there is to it. Not a lot of steps. So really just drilling two holes here, uh, mounting the bolts with the nuts, attaching the hose, um, and then putting this piece on with, you know, the air filter side was the more steps, I guess, just because there are more nuts, but none of this was very complicated or difficult to do. Um, so if you have any questions, leave me a comment below. Otherwise, uh, good luck, and I hope you enjoy it. Thanks.